Hey, what is up guys? Epic Pokemon TCG here, and today guys, I have another deck profile for y'all. This is going to be a bronze on deck. Before I get into the list, this is just a sample list. I have not got a chance to test with this yet, so this is a list that you can just pick up and start testing for yourself and making adjustments to it. Just kind of a list that I threw together. So to kick it off, we have, of course, what makes the deck work and function. We have four Bronzong, and I should probably throw these up, uh, four Bronzor. Now, Bronzong has the ability Metal Links, which is the exact same thing as Electric's Dynamotor, except for Metal Energy. Once per turn, you can take a Metal Energy out of your discard pile and attach it to one of your bitch Pokemon. So this is really good just to get some more energy on the board. You know, those energies <clears throat> are, are going to come out on the field, and you know, you're going to be not restricted to one per turn. Um, I just messed up my sentence and I tried to fix it, but I didn't. But anyway, those attacks that take multiple energy, like maybe four or five or something like that, probably not five, but you get what I mean, are going to be easier to pull off now that you have the Metal Links. Sorry to get a drink. Anyway, so I'm going to go over some attackers, and uh, you can you can make definitely just make adjustments to this. So I have two Seismitoad, just because, you know, it has Quaking Punch, you can, start, you can kind of slow down your opponent and start, you know, focusing on, you know, getting some Bronzong out, trying to get some energy in your, disc, in your discard pile, and just kind of working on that. But uh, it's a really good way to slow down your opponent, and also it's really good against Donphan, you know, with a Muscle Band, you can hit Donphan for 100, and, you know, Seismitoad just has a lot of really, really good <clears throat> uses. And then uh, you can go to 3 if you want to. Same with this, I play 2 Mewtwo. Um, I really, I really didn't know what to go for here in the attacker lines here, but uh, two Mewtwo, three is definitely an option. I feel like three would be pretty decent too. Uh, it's got X Ball. Now, if you just sit there and you know you Metal Links a crap ton of energy to a Mewtwo, you're gonna be X Balling for higher and higher amounts of damage. So I feel like that's really good. It takes uh, colorless energy to do it too, so that's even better. Um, I actually did really good with an old Mewtwo Eels deck, which is why I had to throw that in here. Think about making a Mewtwo Bronzong deck just for fun. But then guys, I have a Heatran in here. I don't know how I feel about Heatran in this deck, but it's a really good card. It has 130 HP and it um, <clears throat> has Steel Drop for 3 energy, 40, and if there's a Stadium Play, it does 80. And then Steam Blast for 4 energy does 130. Uh, it's a really good card, and again, this has a lot of uses, and you can take it out and switch it out for something else if you want to. I at first was contemplating playing the old Kabalium with the Energy Press, but I decided to go with Heatran. Now I have a Kabalium again. You can go to two if you want. Um, Righteous Edge, you can discard an energy, or special energy attached to your opponent's defending Pokemon. It's really good. And it's Steel Bullet. Um, a lot of people are playing Kabalians just to try to counter Power War, but let's face it, if you go against Power War with this deck, uh, nine times out of ten, you're probably going to lose. But, um, you know, Kabalian's a really good card. I would definitely opt to two. Um, this list, like I said, is just a sample one. So one of him. And then another card that I would probably bump up to two attackers is Dialga. I just, I'm just playing one right now. Uh, that is a Dialga, if you guys can't see it. <laughs> I probably should just use the normal art one for this video, but anyways, whatever. Um, it's got Chrono Wind, does 60, and if the defending Pokemon you're attacking is an EX, they can't attack next turn. That's really easy to get a, you know to get around, but your opponent's got to burn resources, they're got to retreat or do something like that. So, you know, you never know in a situation it might, you know, come in handy. Then it has Full Metal Impact. This is similar to Charizard's Combustion Blast. It does 150 damage, which is ridiculous. And it's really easy to pull off with Metal Links. You know, I do run DC in this deck. It takes two metal and a, D and a, <clears throat> and a, and a DCE. I'm just going to say I can't say colorless for some reason. I don't know why I'm struggling right now. But basically, you know, um, I'm just going to throw this next card here. I play two Keldeo. Basically, um, you could just rush in. Metal Links twice, and then, you know, just retreat out of it. I do play Floatstone in this deck. And you can just, you know, use Full Metal Impact again. So that's really handy. Um, Keldeo being in this deck, too, is a really, really good ha thing to have. Just because, you know, if you have a Mewtwo active and you might need one or two more energy to knock something out, or like three energy or whatever, you can rush in Metal Links and, you know, bring Mewtwo back up and take the KO or... If your Pokemon is affected by a special condition, you can rush in and retreat. I don't play Steel Shelter in this deck. I just feel like it's not really worth it. Uh, just with having the rush in ability is, you know, basically the same thing. Uh, yeah, you might, you might take a turn of poison, but it's whatever. 
Now, the last card, a lot of people don't like, but I, I just threw one in here just because, you know, uh, it's really good. One Jirachi has Stellar Guidance, and the funny thing is, you can attack with the little guy. Um, I found that out, and I thought that was hilarious, but uh, you can take Jirachi out if you want. Um, I just try to make this deck somewhat consistent. Um, like I said, just threw it together. Alright guys, for the supporters, uh, pretty standard, 4 Juniper, 4 N, uh, 2 Chorus, just because, you know, this bench size is going to get pretty big with this deck since you have the Bronze Ox and all your EXs sitting out on the bench. And then I play 2 VS Seeker. Um, I would like 3. Um, I kind of monkeyed around with this deck. I didn't play test it a lot, but I kind of monkeyed around with it at League. And I uh, found situations where 3 VS Seeker might be good. I'm just giving you guys my personal opinion on the deck. Alright, so, we have one Lysander's trunk card, just for, you know, Night March, I guess, and, you know, just in case you might need something from your discard pile back into your deck, and, you know, with that, uh, basically, um, this is how I found out, you just beat Night March, you just Lysander's trunk card, and then Quaking punched them, and if they start building stuff back up, you can just be a seeker, and Lysander's trunk card again, it's pretty good. Um, one thing that's really good is, you know, you can just... I don't know, you just, there, there's just so many ways that Seismitoad is going to be really useful in a lot of matchups. And then speaking of Lysander, whoop, fail. Speaking of Lysander, play two regular Lysander. Uh, just, you know, bring up Garbodor or something like that, or bring up something that's really heavy on the bench. Or something you can full metal impact for a KO. Alright, then I play four Ultra Ball. Uh, basically just to search out Pokemon, and it, it puts uh, metal energy in your discard pile, so that's really good. Um, four Ultra Ball, I feel like that's a little consistent. Maybe too consistent, I don't know. Uh, to add some extra damage, we have three Muscle Band. Um, you know, that will make this hit for 170. It'll make Quickie Punch hit a little harder, make Mewtwo easier to knock out stuff. It's just, yeah, Muscle Band's a great card. Then, uh, for Bronzong, Keldeo, I played three Fluff Stones. Really good. Gives everything free retreat, and in case you guys didn't notice, Bronzong has a 3 retreat cost, I believe. I think it's 3. Hang on, hang on. And... No, that's Bronzor, Dylan. Oh, where are you? Yeah, 3. Okay. Sorry about that. And uh, also gives your Russian retreat, or for free, whatever. And I play one Battle Compressor. I'm kind of iffy on this card. Uh, it does have several uses. Um, you know, like maybe getting a supporter to your discard pile if you do open with the VS Seeker. Um... You can easily take this out and put something else in here, like maybe another supporter or something like that. And uh, I'm just going to leave this out here because I'm going to talk about it again. And one megaphone just in case. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I just put a megaphone in here in case you go against the Garbodor or something like that. But I feel like it's really easy to, you know, just Lysander it up nowadays. And I play one computer search. Again, this is really good to put metal energy into this card pile. And, you know, just you can get anything you want. And so I feel like that's the best part for this deck. That's just my opinion. Alright, so, you can definitely drop some of these, but I do play 10 Metal Energy. I feel like you could go down to 8. I feel like you can get away with that 9 or 8. Um, just, just what I'm playing right now. I, I, that's what I felt like would be good. Now, a Metal Compressor is good. You just put Metal Energy in a discard pile and, you know, Metal Links or something like that. So that's my reasoning there. And then I play 4 DCE, just because, you know, Mewtwo... Uh, Seismitoad and of course Dialga gives them a way to attack quicker and I guess Heatran if you really need to but yeah that is just my sample list guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I want to say thank you for watching um, if this deck really looks inconsistent and I did it wrong again I threw it together so yeah uh, that's gonna be it guys um, thank you for watching and I'm gonna have, try to have another deck profile up this week so stay tuned for that. I love you, and this is Epic Pokemon TCG, signing out.